childhood food memories. Who remembers these guys? Frey Bento steak and kidney pie. I remember my mum used to open them and get them ready when we used to come from school. Uh, some chips, some, some peas with it. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to put it in the oven. Oven is a uh, preheated oven, 230. Wow, that's high, yeah, 230. Steak and kidney pie. When I went to buy this, wow, they've got balti. They've got steak and onion, uh, steak and uh, oh, about 10 different types. But I want to stick to the traditional steak and kidney pie. Uh, that's what we had. We're going to open it. I got a mod con here, but my mom never had this. <laughs> I, can, I still don't know how to work this. Remove the lid. Oh. Remember the old openers we used to have, guys? Did they open it? Oh, okay, it's open. Okay. What's a big hole in this? <laughs> hey! Someone stole my steak and kidney pie. There's a big chunk missing out of it. Remove the lid. Man, who's stupid enough to leave the lid on? I bet it would explain. That would be a good video. We don't remove the lid. We put it in with the lid. <laughs> Since 1881. Anybody remember that, guys? You're not as old as me. Frey Bentos. Oh, I can't read the things. It's going to drip out, I think. How stupid. Uh, oh, they're advertising that meaty pudding. I didn't uh, rate it much. 90 seconds, and now it's, it's got three minutes on it here. Oh, it's dripping out. I can't read the instructions. Anyway, take the lid off. Put it in the oven, 230 temperature. I tried to tilt it, but things are licking out of it. And with all that goodness. Anyway, guys. Let's put it in the oven. Uh, we've removed the lid. I will put the uh, ingredients, some yummy ingredients, steak for definite, kidney, hopefully. <laughs> Let's put it in. 25 minutes, it says. So back in 25 minutes and we're going to eat a feast. Let's put it away. Right, guys, you know, I remember this steak and kidney pie. I think it's got a few more minutes. You know, I made a mistake. <laughs> Anybody notice the mistake I did? It said take the lid off. I thought it said loosen the lid, <laughs> and I left it on the top. And I was hearing this, uh, what, the, what the hell's going on? And I didn't put it on a tray or anything. That's another good idea. Put it on the tray because if it overflows, you're gonna dirt. I dirted the oven, so I'm gonna clean it. Um, I left the tray on top of it just loosely. I cut it and left it. You're supposed to take the tray off completely, else it, it was trying to grow from the sides. <laughs> so I took the tray off completely, put it on a bit of a plate. So we see what happened. It's coming up. It's about this high, guys. <laughs> I remember mum used to say, oh, what are we going to have today, guys? What are we going to... Oh, guys wasn't. Guys was an old... It wasn't what they... What are we going to have today, lads? We're going to do... Uh, some chips or something like that. No, we want steak and kidney pie. And she was sort of thinking, oh, what am I gonna? Then this Frey Bentos things come out. You just 25 minutes, take the lid off. If you're not <laughs> like me, take the lid off and put it in the oven. 25 minutes, you've got a meal. How many more minutes to go? It says 25 and I set the timer here. Oh, soon, 30 seconds. Shall we count down, guys? Oh, you're all clicking off now, probably. Oh, this is boring. Click away. You know, some of my videos, I notice the adventure ones. I lose 50% of people in the first three minutes. And they miss so much of their adventure at the very end. So I don't understand somebody clicking on, you see a video like Englishman Adventure, Dingley. And those, those videos, Dingley, they're hopeless. I don't know what's happened to me. I've gone rock bottom on my views. Anyway, they see like an adventure ding, they think, oh yeah, I'll click on it. Then they watch two minutes. They're not going to get the idea of the video till then. I don't, I don't know. It's not going it's, to. It's, oh, I think it's knackered. <laughs> I'm going to take it out because it looks ready. Let's get the plate. It's got a plate there. Oh, it's enormous. The trouble is, you know that hole? Everything's coming out of that hole. Wow. 
red hot. It's very, very hot. Oh, it looks beautiful though, guys. It's steaming. <laughs> wow, it's steaming. It looks beautiful. I don't know whether I'm going to take it out of this tray. Beautiful pastry. Boiling hot. And where's the steak? The pastry is lovely. And the smell is fantastic. Ooh, we need to let it, it's bubbling away like crazy. Look at that, guys. Oh! Beautiful pastry. I'm not over impressed with the insides. I think, look. You need a spoon. Wow, this is not what I remember. You can't fault the pastry. The pastry is beautiful. Let's taste it. It's going to be very hot, I think. Wow, but the inside is rubbish. <coughs> you need a spoon for the inside. That's the inside, guys. It's puree. Oh, there's a little bit here. Let's see if I can get that on camera without dripping everywhere. And that's still. It seems very uneven as well. It's not solid at all like I remember it. I remember in the old days you used to have like a I'm not even going to bother putting this on the plate. The smell is fantastic. Taste is lovely. Beautiful taste. But liquid. There's no solid bits in it at all. Like a, it's like a mash. The pastry is lovely and crunchy. It's very hot. <laughs> it says 230. Listen, guys, the taste, it's lovely. You can't fault the taste. It must like liquid. There's no heart, there's no chunks. There's nothing in here. Some of the lower bits of the pastry, it's like a bit, a bit stodgy. I mean, it's cooked well over the time. It's very hot. I was a bit disappointed, guys. I remember it had chunks in it, some decent chunks in it. Underneath the uh, lovely crusty pastry, it's like a little bit, it's all stodgy, like uh, like it has like uncooked. And that mixes with. They're hoping it's going to mix with the sauce because then they look it. Look when you mix it with the sauce, it looks, it looks chunky. But the stodginess. Some pastry underneath is a bit uncooked. It's been uh, almost 30 minutes. There is a, there is luck. Let's see if I can harpoon that. That's a bit of kidney or chunk. <laughs> or steak. <laughs> wow, it's steaming. Lovely left taste. It might be kidney, it might be steak. I don't know. You don't need a fork for this, guys. And it's not my memory at all. It's got a good taste though. You can't fault the taste. The taste is there. It's like as if they're... You know what I found out the other day? They did um, a soup. Chicken soup. They went to uh, Knorr. They make it in Ireland. They went in Dublin in the main street. And they got this old woman that made a homemade uh, chicken soup. She used proper fresh chicken in it and all the good ingredients. And they use canola, which has got no chicken. Can you believe that? Beef, chicken, uh, pork, soups, 
with no chicken, just flavoring, artificial chemically enhanced flavoring. So you see, and they can do that. How can they advertise a chicken soup and there's no chicken in it? Maybe this is the same with some soya, soya mixed in it. I haven't looked at the ingredients. I'll put the ingredients down, but this is too hot. <laughs> I made a mistake. I didn't look, read it before. I'll do what the ingredients like before. Particularly that stodginess, there's a, underneath the puff pastry. The puff pastry <coughs> is lovely and crunchy when it comes out. You've got that stodginess underneath. And really all I can say is like liquid puree underneath. Not, I've got no memories. I haven't had this before. Since long, when I was sort of young. I don't know what that, that tastes. That's like, it's not raw pastry. It's like a, it's not a bad taste. Oh, wow, guys, is that a kidney? Yes, we found a kidney. <laughs> it's, a, it's a taste of kidney anyway. Flavour enhanced. It's a bit better now, it's cooling down. <coughs> you enjoying these guys? Views are not fantastic. The, uh, the last one got up a little bit to about 800 or something. Uh, go and see my dingly one. The dingly didn't get any views at all. It struggled about 300, 400. Then it's awesome. At the end, I put the GoPro on my head and I walked through the caves. Go and see it. Dingly is an awesome area if ever here. Go over to Dingley. It's always windy, but it's a, it's a lovely place. Hope you're enjoying these ones. Uh, I've got loads more in. And give me a, an idea if you're interested in anything. What you remember when you was a kid or something like that when you came home. I'm going to do uh, some simple ones. Maybe I'll do them together because there are sandwiches. I still haven't found any white bread. I just want a normal white bread that I can cut. Or a thick one, you know, a decent size. And they're all these uh, mechanically cut, perfect, but not even white, white. I can't find, uh, I can find multi-grain and uh, all these different ones, but not white, white, thick. And then I cut two small for a banana sandwich or a chip sandwich or a chip and bean sandwich. We used to have uh, those sort of things. I've got those all lined up, some nice beans and the curried beans. Um, this was a flop. For me, it's, it's not the same. It's not, it's got a nice taste. Um, it's got liquid at the bottom with a few odds and ends. I think that's soya. I don't think it's kidney. It's got a little bit of a taste of kidney, some of them, but that could be enhanced flavor enhancing. And I've found out they're allowed to do that. Advertise steak and don't put any steak in it. How can, uh, how can that be? Surely this crying out that that's uh, false, selling false things, especially the soup. I was so shocked to see that I was telling you that story. Anyway, she, they went to Dublin Centre uh, and the woman was selling the soup and they had their own soup. 95% of people like the canola soup. They asked them to do a blind test because they enhance that flavour to what you really, to what you really like. And uh, the old type was probably a bit rustic, a few bits of chicken. They love that smoothness of the canola, maybe just so. Guys, you're helping them co cause these things. I don't know. Everybody wants the soup quick, ready. Uh, maybe that's what's happening. Everything is ready meals anyway. Enjoy it. Uh, childhood memories uh, of food. Many coming up. Try and give it a good thumbs up and give it a good view. Um, please try and share it if anybody likes it. Give me your comments below if you think of anything that you used to have. Even if you had this before and you've had it lately. Have you experienced this, this stodginess? I can't fault the taste and the appearance. Very, very nice with that crust on the top. But what you find underneath is hidden rubbish. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you. Uh, don't forget to follow my videos. Every Saturday I'm going to try to do every Tuesday. Uh, there's a foodie one of Morty's Tuesday. Adventures on either Saturday or Sunday. It's the live on Sunday. <coughs> And I'm going to try to keep up a giveaway, some simple giveaway. I've got some little things like a pens and magnets and something like that. Uh, no, no mag maggots. Last time I was talking on the live and I said maggots. You all caught on to it straight away. Uh, when you're talking and thinking at the same time, it, it's difficult. It's like uh, men, men, we can't, uh, we can't do two things at one, can we? <laughs> Bye guys, thank you. Um, I didn't like it very much. It, it passes. 
a snack maybe it's not a meal for me it's not like before uh, so many things you think of before like Mars bars and Snickers and things like that the taste and Cadbury's whole nut find the whole nut Cadbury's whole nut it's not like before when Cadbury's in Birmingham used to make it bye guys thank you hope you enjoyed it don't forget coming up live on Sunday at one o'clock Morty's time bye guys see you soon one Englishman from Malta and I will show you all the signs so please subscribe to my channel and give me lots of likes.